Hello everyone, welcome back to All The Mods 8. So, from last episode, you might be... Well, actually, you could probably tell from the, the title of the video, now that I think about it. We are going to go to the deeper and darker dimension. I think it's the last dimension that we haven't been to yet. Thinking about it, because we went to both of the Blue Skies dimensions way back in the day uh that was when the all the mod star actually required you to uh have some stuff from blue skies now it doesn't you can use twilight forest so if i were you i would still go to the blue skies place because it, it's still pretty cool i like the dimension it's very nice um but the last one on the list that i've got because we've been to the end we've been to nether we've been to mining dimension been to the other Last one is going to be the deeper and darker dimension. I'm not entirely sure what the dimension's called, if I'm honest, but we are going to end up going there. So, uh, I am going to get my structure compass out. Also, I, I've changed my skin again to be this. This will probably change, because uh, I believe... I've still got the sword up there. Fantastic mod, by the way. The mod author commented on my last video... And they did mention that there was going to be a uh, Bauble's Heart, you know, the Bauble's Heart Canister Vitality Sword thingy. There's going to be a Bauble's Heart Canister Vitality Armor set at some point. So that'd be kind of cool. That'd be kind of OP as well. I like that. But anyway, today we are going to go to the Deep Dark. So at Deep, Deeper and Darker even, Deeper and Darker. I really want to get the end game thing, which is this so Okay, I wanted to bookmark it, but there you go. I want to get one of these soul elytras. Uh, you don't need... Oh, what's it called? The, the, the fireworky thing. You don't need fireworks for it, so we might as well go and grab some of those. Uh, well, see if we can get some soul dust and soul crystals and these bones as well. It'd be cool to get this uh, Shulk transmitter as well. I just want to test it out. This is the thing that I think I missed. I didn't. I didn't mine any of these. Uh, but they have a chance of dropping those echo shards. Uh, but let's hop over to the deep. Uh, no, what is it called? It's called the. Is it called the deep dark? Ah, oh, my brain today. Okay, there was already a dude down here. Did I miss a chest? I did indeed miss a chest. Okay, not not amazing loot. Uh, it's it's fine. Apparently, what you do is this thing right here. You've got to clear it of all of the chaff that's on it. So right now, I think this is the chaff. Wait. Aha! Vein mine, vein mine for the win. Uh, and then you use one of the hearts. Oh, if you can land near it. <laughs> the best part about it, it doesn't have the annoying nether sound. Because it is a portal, right? But uh, we are going to just hop in. I think what we might do is... This is something I haven't made in a while. Waystone. Oh, I've, I've already got some. It's all good. I'm going to take a waystone with me and we can plonk it down. So, let's go. There we go. We are in the... Wait, what's it called? Deeper and darker. We're in, in this uh, this dimension right here. Now, I am aware that... Is this stuff supposed to burn me? Uh, yeah, I've got darkness, but I've also got night vision. So I think they're trying to fight it out. But basically what this does is it blinds you. So I'm going to slap this down. Deeper, dark. Done. There we go. And what we're going to do is... I mean, we can do it right here. Why not? Let's make ourselves a helmet from the deep dark. Or deeper and darker. At deeper and darker. So we want to make one of these. The Warden Helmet. So that is done by taking the Netherite Helmet. And you just add this reinforced echo shard. So we are going to need one of those. Let's, let's just make one of those really quick. 
We got a Warden Carapace. I think you just kill Wardens to get this. Oh, wow. Wow. I've got a ton of them for some reason. Uh, but you take one of these. Shulk Engineer. And we also need a Smithing Table. Smithing Table. Got one of those as well. And I think I've got a decent... I must have a decent Netherite Helmet, right? Netherite... There you go, one of these. That's got luck, max health, total speed, all of that. Stick that on there. Now, we are going to take off our helmet from Mechanism, so I don't know how well this is going to go. And I'm also going to take this one off so we can see what we look like. What? We've got antlers, love it. This one I'm going to keep in my inventory, but now we can see. We do have night vision still, just for a bit. Is that going to go away, or have we just got it now? Looks like we've still got it. Oh, yeah, because we've got the night vision goggles on. Yeah, which is not not the helmet that we've got. Right, got ya. Okay, that's pretty decent. I need to go kill everything. Anything I see, I'm going to try and kill. These things are pretty cool. Watch this. It makes you go fly up in the air. Now, we don't take, like, uh, we do take damage now, which is a bit weird. Because we're used to not taking any damage. This this stuff looks really cool, by the way. The Gloom Slate. This stuff looks really cool as well, actually. What's this called? Gloom Shulk. Oh, I need Silk Touch. Of course I need Silk Touch. Okay, Gloom Shulk. Polished Gloom Slate. That's not what we're looking for, is it? I think it's this thing. Does it actually give us anything? Oh, you can comp compost it. Okay. That makes sense. But it gives you a little bit of uh, experience when you mine it. Ah, what's this glowy thing? We should definitely take some of this if we can. Crystallized Amber. Oh, I think we also need uh, Silk Touch for that. Uh, we've probably got a silk touch somewhere, don't we? Ah, we've got the book. We got the book from ours. Let, let's grab that out. Where where did I put it? I think it's Archmage. Yeah, let's grab one of these, and we could just. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, does that not work? Wait, what what spell am I on? Okay, it broke that one. It just doesn't want to break the amber. Okay, that makes sense. That's fine. Okay, we're not going to get the amber then. I'm happy with that. Uh, there is water in, in this dimension, so it's very weird. It's like the nether, but not not the nether. Ah, cool. What, what happens if we're over here in the water? Does it fling us up? And it like floats us back down as well. It gives you slow fall too. I like that. I'm a bit disconcerted that we don't have a map in here. Oh, we have this map. Okay, what does this map look like? Uh, uh, that's a different biome, so we're going to go over in this direction. Which is, if I have a look, I think it's this way. Uh, as I said, if we see anything, we are going to give it a give it a bash because uh, we would like to get all of the bits and bobs from this mod. There's a bit of a... Oh yeah, there's phantoms here as well, if you didn't know. So we can kill a bunch of phantoms at least. No loot pinata? Okay. Ah, there's the death rattle. Ooh, what's that? Shulk Gleam. Okay, that's something I want to get. And Shulk Vine. Sh ah, right. Shulk Vine is the stuff that was on... Wow, that's loud. What happened to my... um? Okay. I was going to say, what happened to my settings? I can't pick anything up in this dimension. I'm definitely going to need that. Uh, let's do hashtag 
silk touch and it will tell me whatever I've got that's got silk touch. So let's plonk all of this away. So we can use this to get, get that stuff. Uh, we'd probably use it to get this as well if we wanted. Yeah, there we go. Crystallized amber. I don't know if I need any of this, but might as well take it. Ooh. Oh, there's something we can kill. Nice. Um, I also want to get my, my Archmage book out because I want to try something. Can I silk touch one of the the dudes from a distance? Oh, I can. <laughs> That's really funny. That means that we can uh, avoid... Oh, okay. We didn't get the all of the shulk bones that we wanted. Oh, you get iron in here as well. That's pretty decent. Um. Ah, there's another one. Ow. I mean, it doesn't matter. We can fly away from him, can't we? So, sorry, dude. Right, let's have a look at the map again. Did I fly past what I wanted? So it's in this direction. Oh, yeah, I did fly past it. Ah, oh, there's more of these thingies. Right. Let's have a go. We got a bag of seeds. Let's do that. It's different, isn't it? Hop seeds. Nice. And we got a shulk centipede fragment. Uh, but we got all of the shulk bone that we are going to need for the elytra. So that's pretty decent. Let's let's get rid of get rid of all of it for now. I will start using this book more. To get the uh, the things. This is actually a really good idea. If you make the uh, just a regular spell book. Look, watch this. I think from a distance. Nice. We got got the shrieker. That that way you you're not gonna be uh, spawning in loads. Loads of uh, wardens when you don't want to be. Right. We've got slow fall in here, so I'm going to use my flight a little bit. Uh, any other cool biomes? No, doesn't look like it. Well, wow, as in, like, any other new ones. Ah, oh, maybe we should use our structure compass. Oh, I need to be landed for this. I thought it was shift and right click to open it up. Did I get that wrong? Shift. Right click. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's try deeper and darker ancient temple. Let's go for one of those. Two thousand blocks in uh, this direction. Okay, I'm just gonna mine over in this direction. Why not? Oh, you know what would be really good for this? Because this is using all of my hunger. Yeah, look at that. Let's use the mining gadget. We haven't used that in a while. Where you at? There you are. My boy. Wow, you're not as quick as I thought you were. Ah, okay. Well, at least we got out in this direction. Oh, and yeah, I forgot. You can press the control to fly really fast. Uh... Okay, we need this place to load a little bit. Okay, we have arrived at the temple. And it, like, instantly spawned a uh, a warden, which is fine. Like, as I said, we are, we're kind of OP right now, so... None of this really matters. They can spawn in as many as possible, but... I am going to nick all the, the loot. Oh, these things. These things are the things I want. Uh, I might break all of these, because why not? It just stops more of them spawning in, right? Oh, missed one. Ah, that was a new mob. And we don't have infinite health right now either, because um, my, uh, my helmet's off. 
Uh, perfect. Right, let's try mine one of these. What do we get? Warden Carapace. Oh, that was pretty good. So, okay, we got some sand. Brilliant. Got a bit of diamond as well. There's a chance that one of the, the like, nasties will spawn if you do this. Uh, from what I have read. Whoops, did not mean to do that. Anyway, there's more in here, so you mine out the, the middle bit. Ah, yeah, so I'm going to use my silk touch to get some of this. Shulk gleam. Whoa, that was loud. You out here? Yeah, hello. Should we go around and mine all of those, try and get this, this dude to spawn in? Uh, there seems to be some around here as well. Go on, away you go. Oh, what's that? I don't know what it is, but he's gone now. Ah, there you go, that's what I wanted to see. This dude. Stalker. Ah, I loot pinyarted him. No way. Okay, cool. We got the soul crystals. Ow. Oh, wow. There's loads of these. Well, there was loads of these. It'd be interesting... Oh, flipping neck bit of lag. It'd be interesting to see a pack where... Like... It's based around this, this mod, if you know what I mean. Go away. Fine. Right, we're going to go back in the middle. Uh, you get a load of diamond around here, the Shulk diamond. But there's some in there as well. Really like the look of this glow Shulk gleam. Looks kind of nice. Aha! This is what I was looking for. So you can use this on a chest. I think you shift and then... Oh, okay, you can't link it to these uh, these loot R chests, but... Yeah, you can link it to those chests and then you can use them whenever you fancy. Let's get rid of all of this. Lots of nasty sounding stuff right now, innit? Is that another portal right there? Oh, it's a ne nearly finished portal. Wow, okay, let's break a few of these. Let's get rid of those, and I'm, I'm kind of looking for those last, like, bits that we need. Whoa, that was loud. Okay, I need to sort of wander around now. I think the uh, the the last. Ooh, that's a that's a good amount right there. Let's let's grab that. Yeah, the last little dude is. Um... Do you mind? Let's go in this direction. Whee! Yeah, the last little dude should just be wandering about. I should probably look on my map. We don't really care about these little centipede guys, which are creepy as heck, by the way. Uh, right, I'll meet you back once I have found uh, the last dude that we have to fight. Just a quick use of the trusty nature's compass, and we found ourselves an echoing forest. Hey, echo location. What's that from? Ooh. Oh, Mike, I did not realize that there was a uh, advancement for this. We've nearly finished it. Speaking of advancements, there is like flipping loads of advancements. Look how it wraps the screen with advancements. I swear they used to be called achievements, but... 
Yeah, there's tons of them. Like, what's this one here? Hex casting, Botania. Like, if you, uh, if you get bored of the quests, I wouldn't... Hello. I wouldn't know why you would get bored of the quests, because the quests are amazing. But if you do get bored of them, then there's always the advancements as well. This one looks really cool. Ah, oh, this is Shulk Gleam as well. I like the purple leaves. They're very nice. Okay, the leaves don't go away either. Uh, it's a bit of a poo. So, apparently, there are some dudes that wander... Oh, is there a guy over here? Oh, no, that's a warden. Brilliant. Ow. Why didn't I kill that first? Alright, let's just wander off in this direction. Aha! This is what I was looking for. These these guys right here. And now they're deaded. Oh, I got one of the fragments as well. You can actually use these to turn... Well, to get yourself a egg. Uh, I don't think everything drops the fragments. Uh, but we've been talking about, like... Uh, there should be a few over here. I could have just used the, the thing that we... I could have used a swab. Made an egg out of it. Oh, oh well. I think it's more fun to wander around here and try and kill the dudes. Uh, but yeah, you can use these to make the egg and then you can use the egg on... Sometimes you can use it on the... Uh, on the apotheosis spawner is what I was trying to say until this guy spawned in. Let's get rid of some of this. Uh, do you get, if I punch this, do you get saplings from these guys? I don't think so. Interesting. Maybe you do. Ah, oh, that was a dumb idea. Right, anyway, I am going to fly about and I'm going to try and find myself some more of these dudes. I think there's one over there. Hello. Soul dust. That's what we're looking for. Soul dust. And we need three of it. The heck is that? What's doing lasers on me? Rage. I've got rage right now. Interesting. Is it because I killed the dudes? I'm not, not entirely sure. Okay, these are kind of hard to find, so... Thank you. Ow. Is it you that gave me rage earlier? Is that what it was? Uh... We have got the mob swab. So, we can go back to base now. This is a really, really cool dimension, and... I love that they're adding stuff like this into the game. Using mods and stuff. It's, it's really cool. So, let's pop back to the base. Of course it's raining. Okay, you've seen this all before, I hope at least. You can use a bucket of fluid XP, mob swab, and any kind of seed and you get yourself a chicken feed thingy. Uh, we're going to go over to our mine colonies because I know there's a ton of chickens over here. And we are going to feed it to one of these chickens. I wonder how many times you've heard that this this like season, this series that we've done. I've made a lot of those. Uh, I'm also going to take this off helmet. Let's put one of these back on because now we are invulnerable again. That's that's the whole reason. Let's pop over here. Hello, doggy. Pat the doggy. Pat pat pat. And. With that, we can use this on a spawner. So if I look at my spawners, I remember I broke my spawners uh, with Silk Touch. So now I can see what's in them. So we got Invoker, Zombie, might we could do a zombie at some point. Let's use this one. A lot of the stuff that's in uh, my spawners over here, I can do with Hostile Neural Networks. In fact, I did try... 
Well, I, I didn't really. I, I just set up like all of our hostile neural networks that we're going to need. That's one for each. Because we're not really hurting on uh, resources, are we? So, right. Anyway, we need a lever. And we are just going to spawn these in the middle of the base. Because I feel like we can handle them. There you go, that got us enough. And now we should be able to... Have I never got an elytra? Is that a thing? Could have sworn I got an elytra at some point. No, you're kidding me. Is it my backpack or something? It's not. Okay, we are going to have to go to the end and get an elytra. Uh, fine, we could do that. I forgot we had the end ship, but look, there's no elytra, so I I must have taken it. No idea where it's gone. Excellent. Let's um Let's go to our end highlands, because I know that's quite far away. Uh this is currently just a waystone in the middle of the air. Brilliant. Okay, let's Eh, I wanna get up here. Thank you. And I'm going to use my structure compass. Oh yeah, over here is chunk loaded because this is where I'm getting all my unobtainium. You can't even see it, it's so quick. What are you doing down there? I didn't even bother mining the uh, unobtainium that was here. Brilliant. Right, anyway, let's, let's get our structure compass. Compass. So, shift, click, and then... Is it? It's just going to be Minecraft, right? I think that's because that's the mod that it comes from. Minecraft. And then I have no idea. End city? It'd be an end city, I think. Let's do one of those. And then there's like a, a chance that it's got uh, one of the ships nearby. Did I mine it? You know what? I think I mined it. <laughs> uh, okay. Is that a shulker? The heck is that? Loot our shulker. Oh, cool. And then we can get a shulker out of it. That's pretty cool. I didn't know those were a thing. Got some decent stuff in here. Not bad. Right, that's going to go in my, in my system. Right, where do we go from here? Oh my goodness, look at all the shulkers. Hello. I should have just come here. Flipping heck. Remember that episode that I had where I was looking for shulkers all the time. Eh, go away. Go away. Okay, let's uh let's go off in a different direction for a while. And then fingers crossed, we got ourselves. Oh, that's a point. If you look on the main map like that. You should be able to see these are, ah, but that one I think will point over here, but we've already mined up that one. Here we go. This is what I was talking about. One of these ships. Usually they come with uh, a map, but this one didn't have a map in it. Excellent. What are you doing? Oh yeah, they're all mad because they, uh, they fly up in the air. Uh, maybe this one does... No, it doesn't have a map. I forgot with structure compasses, you just click them again. And it'll take you to the nearest after the one that you were at. So we can jump down into this one. Kill the shulker. Uh, punch that. And get the elytra. Might as well grab everything else. What the heck is this? Ender staff. Wow. I swear all of the loot is like way better than it used to be. Or is that just me? Right, anyway, we're going to go home. Oh, uh, we're back here now, so pat, pat, pat. And then we are going to use this elytra and we're going to upgrade it. Oh, I forgot about this. You can make uh, an elytra blueprint from 
silent gear and then you can repair your elytra using all of the silent gear stuff it's also the mechanical one and you ah i use mine to make my diamond ring which then turns into the angel ring i can upgrade my angel ring as well but i never did and i don't know why i didn't do that that, that seems like an easy upgrade as well oh well uh we want to make this one and then we should complete all of the advancements for deeper and darker. Ah, uh, I think. Wait, let's let's make sure that that is all of them. I think it is. Yeah, there you go. That's pretty cool. Uh, have we got an elytra slot? I swear we've got an elytra slot. Body? No. Oh, it's on the back, isn't it? So we have to take that off. Ah, oh, but we can fly as well, so... Ah. This is going to be difficult, because you have to... Oh, it's got horrible sound, though, isn't it? <laughs> oh, that's so cool! You basically fly forever with this. We Right, anyway. Let's stop using that and we'll just fly normally. Nice. Ah, and we look awesome. Wait. Uh, I have no head because mechanism doesn't render with the shaders. That's why I was trying not to do this, but I forgot until I pressed F5. That looks pretty cool. Ah, that's not what you wanted to see. Brilliant. No, oh, I like this. Right, I'm going to try and get all of the... We're going to take this off for now. Might use it for the thumbnail, but we're going to try and get all of the warden armor. And I think that means that I have to go and get like a butt ton of echo shards. Echo, because I've only got four, which means I can upgrade one more thing. There's a boomerang. Echo boomerang from the pickerang. I forgot about this. This thing's really, really useful sometimes in some packs. I know uh, it was like the meta to get it in Vault Hunters back in the day. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to go crack out getting more of the echo shards. And then we're going to make the full set of armor and probably call it a day. And we're home. So pop back over here. Pat, pat, pat. And I... Where did I put my smithing table? Let's just make a new one. Smithing. This, by the way, I think is probably the best looking armor in the game right now. Uh, no offense to all the other armor, obviously. But this stuff just looks boss. One, two, three. Oh. Netherite. So I feel like we should do it on some like boss netherite armor, even though it's just going to be cosmetic for us, but it's fine. Uh, oh, that one there. Yes. And then... Have I got any like really good netherite boots? I don't. Oh, that's a bit weird. Okay, we'll take these ones because they've got... The shiny shiny on it. Hey, right. Let's get this armor off and we'll put this on and I'll get the warden warden helmet and then we can put that on as well. It needs to be enchanted. The rest of them are enchanted. Let's go enchant this. So we are going to pop over here. My god, it's so blinding down here, honestly. So that's my enchantment factory. Uh, where did my... Okay, it went into the system. Cool. Uh, yes. Put it on like that. Lovely. So that's the thing with these um, travel anchors. You can't go down anymore. You used to be able to... 
use them like uh, elevators. But I think what's happened... Oh, it's so... Like, I'm going to get out of here. We're going to go pat the dog for a bit. Pat, pat, pat. And, yeah, you used to be able to, like, do a shift, but I think they've changed it to a different key bind. So you can still do the thing where you go down, but it's not shift, which is a bit weird. Uh, also, I feel like I need to give my builders more stuff to do because this has been blank for a little while. Uh, there is a way, by the way, of getting it so when you log into the game, it runs, so computer craft over here, runs the startup. There's If you name a file startup.lua, it will run that. And I did earlier try and get it, so it. I can probably show you. Okay, that was starting scan. If I do a reboot on this, what will happen is it will try and run the startup, and then it will try and run the RS warehouse uh, dot lua file thing but uh, i couldn't get it working it said it needed like parentheses and i added parentheses and then it was like why have you put parentheses in there and it's yeah i have no idea but somebody out there with a better mind than me could probably figure that one out and get it so as soon as you log in this boots up and job done you've got yourself automated uh sort of mine colonies which is kind of cool uh, but we've got this armor on let me get the elytra and we'll stick that on our back slot as well and now oh look at that you've probably seen this in the thumbnail already but i think it looks pretty cool that is pretty cool right anyway that is where I am going to call it for today's episode. So thank you for watching. Thanks for joining. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. I couldn't have finished the episode really without making the sword as well. So we've got the whole, the whole gear. Whoa.